I'm going to shut down my mission. Let's go to the BIOS of the computer. This is my BIOS which is in the latest version and I selected the primary graphics card as PCI graphics card and uh, Gen 3 and uh, disabled my entire iGPU multi monitor and uh, in South Bridge this is my settings and storage configuration it is in AHCI enable smart because Mac OS supports smart super IO as you can see I have disabled the serial parallel and uh, infrared port in my motherboard and other than that let's save our BIOS and exit it and let's turn on the PC and I'm going to the uh, boot menu I'm going to select the 64 GB Samsung pen drive as you can see here uh, it will show you the option to boot into Windows and Mac OS base image and OpenShell.EFI we need to give Mac OS base image external and hit enter I need to switch to analog mode because I have connected uh, my GPU via HDMI and uh, VGA. Uh, this is the recovery uh, screen of macOS. We have successfully booted into the uh, macOS recovery and I was wrong about that SSDT HPET. I didn't add the SSDT headset into the APCA but even though I, I am able to boot into macOS ok apart from that uh, everything is working fine I am going to use a new disk a new hard disk apart from the windows installation as you can see this is the windows installation uh, hard disk and this is the uh, new hard disk this has no data in it so I am going to use this hard disk I am going to disconnect that uh, because uh, for an extra uh, precaution okay let's install the mac os onto the hard disk let's quickly go to the disk utility and we can list the device uh, uh, click on uh, this icon and just click show all devices the only hard disk connected is the mt1 i'm going to partition it erase let's uh, make it as a uh, mac os external journal i'm going to name it as mac erase this is done successfully I'm going to repartition it. I'm going to this name it as let's format it to XFAC apply partition. This is done successfully, and then you can proceed with the installation. Uh, click on reinstall macOS and it will uh, show the macOS installation dialog box. Click continue, agree to the macOS terms and condition. Click on agree, then uh, you need to select the disk and uh, click on install. Uh, this will install uh, Mac OS. Usually, it will um, take around an hour according to the internet. Uh, I have a, a slow internet here. Give it a time, uh, it will automatically reboot into the Mac OS and uh, it will automatically install the Mac OS to the hard disk. Don't worry if the installer suck uh, at uh, exactly at 2 minutes. Give it some time because. Uh, it will take some time to verify the installation uh, usually it will stuck at 2 minutes for an uh, half an hour or 45 minutes or nearly an hour don't panic let it do its, its work if you are stuck at 2 minutes for more than an hour just uh, redo it and uh, check your config.plist and find any error in it or use the troubleshooting section in the open core to find the error and eliminate it it is taking too long i am going to skip this process i am going to do it off camera uh, during the first install uh, it will stuck with the apple logo and uh, the progress bar will slowly move uh, through the progress bar uh, as you can see it tells about 31 minutes remaining it will uh, automatically complete itself it will take around a uh, half an hour to 45 minutes i don't really remember how much it, it took i will come back uh, when it is finished after the progress bar is completed successfully it will uh, reboot itself once again the first reboot is from uh, installer to the apple logo 
and now it will reboot this is the final reboot usually during install it will uh, uh, reboot twice this is the second time it is rebooting I'm going to select the Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. This VoiceOver thing. The VoiceOver quick start. VoiceOvers. Uh, India. Customize settings. Okay, next, next. Next, continue. Don't transfer from anything. I'm going to skip Apple ID setup later. Don't skip. Oops. Mac OS license agreement. Agree. I'm going to name it as Home. The password. I'm going to disable Siri uh, for disabling Siri we need to uh, do some post installation process so I'm going to disable Siri because we are using a iMac 13 comma 2 SMBIOS recognizes the desktop as an iMac so welcome to macOS Catalina they have successfully managed to install the macOS to a non Apple hardware instead of dot friends we can go into Apple logo and see about this Mac as you can see we have managed to install Mac OS Catalina 15.6 onto an on Apple hardware this is the spec of the computer the display is recognized properly as I said, um, VGA and HDMI is connected to the same monitor. It recognizes the same monitor twice. Storage. This is the USB. And uh, this is the uh, Mac boot disk. Memory. It seems uh, the memory speed is set to automatic. We can go configure manually uh, in the BIOS to change it. Support and services. Okay, I will quickly install OBS onto the Mac OS and I will um, see you in the desktop. As you can see, I have successfully installed the Mac OS um, by using Open Core. I will quickly show you the specs of the computer. I am going to show about this Mac. This is an uh, iMac of late 2012 with a uh, Core i3 processor clocked at 3.3 GHz and a memory of 4 GB but 1067 MHz. I need to change the RAM frequency in the BIOS. Apart from that, we can quickly uh, close this window, head over to the browser, I'll use Safari now, and I have installed uh, VLC, Chrome, and uh, OBS. You can quickly search the project Mount EFA GitHub. This is a project which lets you to mount the EFA partition in your hard disk. I'm going to download this. Once it is downloaded, just open it and right click on it and click open hit open okay here you can see uh, the boot disk is Mac which is named as disk 2 I'm going to type disk 2 and the password okay that's done I'm going to I'm going to quit it Q then close it 
just open the boot partition in your uh, disk just copy the EFI and go to the EFI partition and paste it once this is done uh, go back to the browser and search for open core and guide and uh, go with this guide get started and let's go to post install in the post install and there are numerous fixes for numerous things you can uh, fix the security and vault and you can fix the audio if it doesn't work you need to find the exact layout of your uh, motherboard uh, by trial and, error, uh, trial and error there is no other uh, easy way booting without USB updating open core when you when the new update comes and the kext and mac os fixing the fixing the drm currently the drm can work only on uh, supported igpus you can easily fix the drm if you have a uh, time and if you need to fix the drm you can proceed with the guide fixing i service uh, which is very easy according to me you need to just have the serial number right and fixing the power management we are going to fix the power management now which is very important i am using an iv bridge processor so i am going to click click this link and uh, i don't have an iv bridge e cpu it's just an iv bridge cpu so i am going to proceed with this uh, guide i am going to open this i have already added this uh, to my config.p list this is the pycra alpha sstt uh, pr generator uh, which is uh, pr stands for power regulation i am going to download this just open this and open the terminal just drag and drop the file and hit enter it will automatically generate the aml file in the, uh, the in this location which is shown here now let's go to that location slash user slash home uh, usually the library folder is hidden um, press control shift dot to uh, view that open library find the sstt pr gen and you, here you can see the sstt.aml drag and drop it to move that once that is done uh, we can rename it to sstt-pm let's copy this to our efi folder it just asked for an uh, sstt.dsl and i hit no then close it and uh, then we can go to the finder finder EFI, EFI, OC, ACPA and as you can see I have already added the SSDT and hyphen PEM dot AML and also updated the open uh, config dot P list and I will quickly show what's updated head over to EFI, EFI, OC config dot P list open these are the things which have been changed I have added the SSDT hyphen HPET and also SSDT hyphen uh, PM. Once this is done, uh, reboot your system and everything will work fine. And you can uh, also do your own research. And I also encourage you to learn how to generate the SSDT by yourself. If you need an exact SSDT for your uh, motherboard you can generate yourself by using uh, uh, by using this link and get started with the APCI and there is a manual guide uh, to compile your own uh, SSDTs okay hope you have learned something from this video and uh, I wish you a great time with your Hackintosh once you have uh, built it and I need to quickly talk about the wireless buying guide just go to the open core install guide here you can see the uh, wireless buying guide go there and you need to do, uh, do your own research before buying this uh, bluetooth card and uh, some people are working on kext to enable intel wi-fi to run in mac os just do a research on that you can find it easily uh, in the github apart from that there is a wi-fi card in aliexpress if you are a hackintosher already you will already know uh, what i am talking about this penwick card works natively on mac os unfortunately it does not support wi-fi 6 other than that it is just plug and play it's around uh, Yesterday I saw the exact same thing, the sale for $50, today it's $52. Okay, thanks for watching, hope you get an 
idea about how to hack into Azure uh, system and uh, my suggestion is to install macOS on a separate hard disk while installing uh, macOS just disconnect your windows uh, installation it will be uh, better and you don't need to mess with uh, windows uh, EFI since uh, macOS will create its own EFI and eventually delete that uh, in future updates it could be fixed currently the open core is in beta stage and also Apple is planning to release uh, ARM based Apple computers um, this year and I don't know how it's going to be for the open core and our Hackintosh um, hopefully uh, last year uh, Apple released its Mac Pro due to that we could be able to get Hackintosh working for uh, around 5 years maybe more who knows if, uh, if someone managed to Hackintosh and Raspberry Pi it will be amazing uh, apart from that uh, let's see what's gonna happen in the future hope you guys uh, like this video if so uh, click the like button if you appreciate my work please kindly press the subscribe button below thanks for watching